In this video, I'd like to give you an overview of all the possibilities we have for writing the Norwegian sh sound. The, so the sound itself is easy. It's just like an English, English, the sound at the end of the word, that's it. Um, also remember, it's never voiced. So what do I mean by that? Um, for example, in, in uh, English, sometimes we say something like magic and then we add the d sound and we also have this voiced magic magician or in all the french words uh, like journalist uh, we have this zzz with a voice vibrating we never do that in norwegian so the sh sound is always like an english without any voice you can feel here Shh, there is nothing there's just air coming out okay so how do we write it in norwegian the general idea or the, the most common one is SJ, like in chocolate or shu. Okay? Another one is SKJ, like in shula or shada. Then we also pronounce the SK combination as a sh, but only when it's followed by an I or by a Y. So SKI becomes she, and SKY becomes she, but never the other SK combination. So for example, we say skula, uh, or we say skada. Um, here it's just a normal S and a normal K, but in this combination SKI, SKY, we say she or she. Okay? And then we have two other situations where we say sh. But uh, these other combinations are actually regional things. So you might know that when in Norwegian, when we pronounce the R at the tip of the tongue, meaning, meaning like the Spanish or Russian Eastern European R, um, then we combine the R sometimes with a letter that follows. And the combination of an R and an S becomes a SH then, like in NOSK or FORSTOR. Okay, but if we pronounce the R at the, in the throat, like the French do, and like we do in the southwest of Norway, in Bergen, Stavanger, Kristiansand, then we would say Norsk and Forstor. So we would separate the R and the S sound. Okay, um, we do that. So when we, when we speak the R with the tip of the tongue, then we say SH sometimes even when it crosses the limit of the word. So for example, de gjør så vondt. Okay, you have the gjør, and then you have another word that starts with an S, and we can link it with a sh, de gjør så vondt, for example. Uh, sometimes we even do it when there is a T in between. That doesn't make any sense, but it's just an exception. You might remember like fortsetter. We also sometimes say the SL combination as a SL, like an S or a SH sound combined with an L. Like in the capital, we can say USHLO. But again, that's not uh, mandatory. So there are many people, even within Oslo, who say USHLO. So you can hear both variations. You can hear USHLO and USHLO. You can hear SHLIK and SLIK. Uh, I actually say it, my Norwegian is uh, formed by the northern accent, so uh, I would say Schlik, I would say Oslo, but again, if you want to say Slik and Oslo, then that's also fine. 